A new study shows supermarkets and customers alike are losing interest in using self-checkout lanes. It showed customers feel more appreciated at regular checkout because cashiers handle the scanning, bagging, and payment process. Some stores like Walmart and Target are replacing or restricting their self-checkouts. One study of retailers in the U.S. and Europe showed companies with self-checkout lanes had loss rates of about 4%, and that's double the industry average. Police also have concerns about the self-checkout aisle because of what happens there. New specialist Andrew Adams took a deep dive into self-checkout surveillance video tonight with law enforcement. Dini, you talk about loss. It happens more ways than one. We don't just mean shoplifters. Utah County Sheriff's Office says the self-checkout is a hot spot for a different brand of thief. Sometimes in order for us to catch them, we have to try to think like they do. Inside the Utah County Sheriff's Office. What's the longest time you've ever spent at a self-checkout? It's an unlikely crash course on self-checkout. So there's the two of them there now. Sergeant Spencer Cannon says what surveillance cameras captured doesn't look like much. Six and a half minutes into it, and they're still there. Until one factors just how long. Eight and a half minutes into it, they're still there. The people are taking. Ten minutes in still there during that time cannon says the suspects charged up multiple stolen credit cards after 13 minutes and 10 seconds they walk off and he only wished videos like these were a rarity these two people here buying gift cards detectives say all too often self-check proves not only to be a convenient outlet for shoplifters and if they have uh, you know five boxes of cookies they scan four of them but also for thieves cashing in on their car and home break-ins and a place with plenty of cameras, but little close supervision. Self-checkout is probably the easiest way for them to get away with it. Often, the thieves will launder the credit they stole by purchasing gift cards. That's a heck of a take. Cannon says the evidence from the video is clear. At the very least, the retailers would be wise to consider how they could make it more secure. As thieves continue to exploit convenience at grocery stores. Off they go, and it hasn't cost them a penny, but it's costing other people a lot of uh, you know, pain and heartache. Cannon acknowledges that thieves occasionally will be old school. They'll go straight up to cashiers, but far more often, he says they're looking at surveillance video from the self-checkout for transactions like these. Back to you. Interesting observations. Andrew, thanks.